Welcome to Great Chefs of the World, a culinary survey featuring premier chefs from around the globe. The first stop this time is Bermuda. Marcus Vesh prepares a first course of a Caribbean-tinged shark hash rolled into spring rolls and deep fried. The entree is prepared in London. Philip Howard presents an inventive treatment for a lamb saddle, utilizing two tenderloins and a butter herb crust. For the dessert course, we go to Cannes in France. Marc Janaudet demonstrates the French flair for the dramatic with his dish of baked seasonal fruits. The head chef at the Square Restaurant in London is Philip Howard. After food, his interests are swimming, skiing, and running. In fact, he has run marathons in London and New York. Born in South Africa, he's cooked mainly in London. The Square has earned two Michelin stars under his leadership. He offers his herb-crusted lamb saddle. The real crux of this dish is the method used in butchering a saddle of lamb, so we'll devote some time to it in this demonstration. Just take off any excess down the back of it. There's two small fillets that run down either side. You need to pull those off. Leave them with a little bit of fat on them. Um, and what you want to do, you want to trim off everything either side of the eyes of meat. Go in, one side, get on a bit closer there, that, that we don't use, again, you end up with this lovely, uh, lovely block. Now we have to take the bone out, the bone is here, here, down the middle, so the easiest way is to tackle it. Pushing down on one side, underneath. Just lifting the fillet off, and you can hear the knife running along that bone. You then need to just gently just feed your way around the bone. It's very difficult to describe, but effectively you've just got to feel your way around the, the shape of the bone. Again, you meet bone there. Very gently. You've always got to be careful. This bone runs right up to the point of the skin. You don't want this skin must remain intact. It's best to let it nap, let gravity pull the lamb away. I'll probably go straight through it here, but that's right. Until you can see the white of the skin. I then lift it up. cut off the bone. That is what we're after. You then just need to trim any excess off. That is the, the, the backbone of the meat. I've got one that I prepared earlier. What you then need to do, mince one of these or puree it with a, with a blender. Um, and you then put the, the, the puree down the middle there. You then sit this. You just trim this one up a little bit. You just pull some of the fat off. Down to that. You put the puree in. This one puree. That one on top. The other thing you need to do is just, it's better to put it back in the fridge, let it get cold. And then just with a knife, go underneath just the skin. And uh, you need to take off all this top, but it's much easier when it's cold. There you can see it's a finished product. That's all the nice white fat. All that, all that uh, bark has come off, as you call it. The puree, either side of that fillet, fillet just sits in there. So that's the lamb. So the herb crust, breadcrumbs, melted butter, 
rosemary, thyme, tarragon, parsley, garlic, egg, parmesan. All the ingredients are processed, and at the end, the melted butter is poured in. I have more than I need here. This results in a thick buttery paste, which will be rolled out between two sheets of parchment paper into a thin rectangle. It's then refrigerated and cut to fit the lamb. Lots of seasoning on the fat side. Straight into the pan. You don't need any oil, because there's plenty of fat on there that will render off. That's a little bit too hot. What you're trying to do is render that fat down so that it becomes nice and crispy and golden. The lamb will go into a 350 degree oven. For your average saddle of lamb, once the fat is caramelized, it takes uh, between 16 and 18 minutes in the oven. When it comes out, it should be springy, not, not, it must be cooked medium really, because it's a saddle. Here is one I cooked earlier, and it's, uh, it's nice and springy. It's still juicy, it's still pink, but it uh, must not be rare. This is a much smaller saddle, so I'll just cut off the amount that I need, peel off one side. This will go under a broiler or salamander. Just let that melt down over the top of it. The lamb will be presented with roasted potatoes and garlic, as well as a shallot puree. Also, wilted spinach. The sauce is reduced lamb stock, balsamic vinegar, rosemary, and tomatoes. 